Hi there, this is Mark Anderson from Andertunes.com. And this video, I'm going to show you how I shade my cartoons in Photoshop. This is cartoon number 6748. It's about uh, uh, some bendy straws and one of those wacky curly straws. Uh, the teenage daughter has brought home the wacky curly straw. And uh, there's no caption on here yet. I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on the caption at the end. But this is about uh, shading. So let's talk about that. What I normally do is I, I still do the ink on paper. And uh, then I scan it into Photoshop and create a layer. Uh, and then the ink layer is, is a multiply one that's on top. And then I shade underneath it. What I'm using is a the pattern stamp tool. And the pattern that I'm using is actually one that I created from my old Prismacolor markers. I used to do all of the shading on the paper and then scan it all in. And I, I miss being able to do that. But the older I get, the larger I have to draw because my eyes are, uh, my vision is abandoning me as I get older. Uh, so I have to draw bigger, um, and but that takes a lot of marker to shade, and it takes a lot of time. And I was going through markers like crazy. Uh, so what I began doing a, a while ago is that I, I still do the line art um, on paper, but now I do the uh, the shading in in Photoshop. So what the the pattern I'm using is I scanned in, I, I took my markers and did big big swaths of shading on my paper, and then I scanned that into Photoshop and created these sort of like never ending patterns from them. I tried to find I I used to have the bookmark of the tutorial that shows you how to do it, but man, I cannot find that anymore. Um, so it's a good thing I have those those patterns. I backed them up so that I have them. Uh, but if you look online, I'm sure there's no end of tutorials on how to create repeating patterns that don't, you know, look all terrible. Um, just Google that. Repeating patterns that don't look terrible. I'm so helpful. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm... I'm what I tend to do is I shade big swaths of stuff. And then I go in and erase out the parts that I don't want. You can see there's like some overhang there on the couch that I'm getting rid of now. And I'll, I'll sort of uh, erase around the straws here so that they pop. Normally, I wouldn't shade this much on a cartoon. I don't like to shade the furniture. Um, I just normally shade what's important. And I'll shade characters and their hair and their clothing and what have you. But for this one, the straws needed to uh, pop out. Uh, they need to be like the, the standard white bendy straw with a little stripe. Uh, so what I chose to do was shade the furniture and then sort of cut them out of it. Uh, shade, oh, wrong layer. Uh, sort of, uh, I do that a lot. I'm not great at Photoshop. Uh, I'm okay at it, but I can get by. If nothing else, by watching this video, maybe you'll feel better about your own Photoshop skills. Because I'm really, <laughs> I'm not great at it. But I'm good enough. Uh, and maybe, if nothing else, you'll feel better about your skills, having watched me flounder around here for a little bit. So yeah, I cut out the stuff that I don't want. So that's what I chose to do on this one. I'm using like a 10%, what would be like a 10% marker, a real, real light, light shading, just so that they pop out a little bit. Um, and I'll probably shade the bendy straw uh, so that he uh, pops out a little bit as as being different from the other straws. And they're n those crazy, wacky straws, I don't know what the name for those are, but they're usually like fluorescent purple or green or something like that. So I'm sure I'll shade him a little bit later on here. Uh, I'm not sure how these straws are seated. Uh, that was one of the problems in drawing this cartoon. I, I'm my theory is this is that they're shag carpeting and that the bottoms of the straws are stuck in the shag carpeting and then they're really good at balancing up against the, the furniture so that they don't fall over. That's my theory. And you would think that I would know being the creator, but I I I don't really. And it's one of those things like the more you think about it, the less you go like or the more you go like this doesn't make any sense. I'm shading the uh 
some more furniture back there now, and uh, I'll fiddle with the uh, the opacity. Looks like I'm fiddling with the opacity a little bit. What I found recently is that uh, when I work in layers like this, opacity is not the greatest idea. And I'm sure everyone out there is like, well, no, because then everything becomes like see-through. And no, so what I've hey, look at that. Um, I'm adjusting the brightness. Good job, me. Maybe this is the cartoon where I figured that out. Uh, oh, wrong. And wrong layer. Take two. Uh, what I do now is the, I, I adjust the brightness or contrast. I forget where that tool is in the in the menu. But uh, adjust brightness I like using a lot. And then I can sort of fiddle with it. I like to fiddle. I like to shade things and then I'll I'll fiddle with them. Uh, so here I am sort of cropping it to, to the size that I keep my full size originals at. Um, and then I should be putting the caption on here pretty soon. I got to get rid of that little scanning shadow there. That's a problem. Uh, I got to get, oh, got rid of that. And here comes the caption. Uh, see, anybody want to take a guess here before it, I fill it in? I'll leave you a little space. Any caption ideas? All right, here it comes. The caption is, I'm creating my, my uh, paragraph box. The suspense is killing you, isn't it? Here it comes. Come on, man, type it. Philip is an artist. That's the idea behind this cartoon, is that they're just regular straws, but he's that curly straw and so he's not just any uh boyfriend she's really pleased because he's an artist uh and so that's why he's got that that curly top so it looks like the mom is okay with uh with philip there dad uh not quite sure although i think the dad's uh probably not quite sure of any straw that she brings home uh just because he's a dad but i love the look on his face where he's got that raised eyebrow and that little line underneath where he's sort of squinting, like, hmm, I don't know what to make of this young man. I don't like him. I don't like him, and I don't approve. Uh, so now I'm going to do some more shading here. Where? Oh, there, here it comes. So I'm just going to shade him in, and then uh, we should be finishing up. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have a bunch of other videos on YouTube where I show you how I sketch and ink and, and do all sorts of other things. And of course, please visit andertoons.com uh, where I have thousands of, of cartoons uh, on all sorts of subjects, including bendy straws. Uh, thousands of cartoons on all kinds of stuff that you can use for presentations and newsletters and blogs and social media. I have the new cartoon subscriptions feature, which is really, really great if you need or, or want to use uh, cartoons to complement your own content. Uh, so, yeah, come on over and check out andertoons.com if you get a chance. I'd appreciate it. So, just finishing up here. I'm not exactly sure how much time I have left because they changed up iMovie on me. Uh, and I, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I know. Oh, wait, there's a little thing there. I'm at 8.6 minutes, and I think this is just about nine minutes long. So we're just about at the end. Uh, usually the last thing I do is spell check before I save because I'm sort of paranoid about spelling. So when I see the spell check, you'll know that we should be just about done. That's sort of my ritual is that's the last thing I do. So I'm not sure. Oh, hey, look at that spell check. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Goodbye.